tomatoes are the most exciting crop you can grow. I think you should build yourself a tunnel or a greenhouse or buy one just, just so you grow can tomatoes. grow tomatoes. <laughs> and just so you can grow the sun gold tomatoes. I'll, that extreme, which yeah, is that's the one I grow. absolutely best experience you'll ever have. Tomatoes you buy in supermarkets are grown in straw bale cultures with mm. artificial fertilizers injected into them. Okay. So yours will be an experience. So what I do is I sow them into a pot first and then I break them out into and then put them into yeah, your, into, into your fresh place. compost ideally potting compost which is richer so i i only got five seeds do you see that yeah each seed will make a plant which produces could produce 10 trusses of yeah. 50 tomatoes each yeah. 300 tomatoes per plant so it's not really mean, just from isn't that it? little fellow yeah we only leave them up as seedlings for one week okay that's very important and then prick them out we okay. don't want them to the roots to grow together so we Cover that up to the top with compost. And that really wants to go into a nice warm place now. The warmest yeah. place you have. The warmer it is, the faster they germinate. Okay. So 22, 23 degrees. Okay. And they'll be up within a week. Okay, we have um, some tomato sun gold um, that you saw us sowing the seeds from. That's perfectly rooted. Not pot bound. Yeah. No soil falls apart anymore, absolutely perfect. Just ready to go. To plant. But uh, what we'll do first is, see here, this little fella. Many people are a bit confused about that. Mm. But the general rule is always the one between the leaf and the stem is the side. Too. And they have to be removed. Every single week you remove them. And what you do is you just nip them. On bush tomatoes, do we have to do the same thing? No. Yeah. Okay. No, a bush tomato you leave alone. A bush tomato only grows to that height and all the side shoots produce fruit. So another little secret of tomatoes is they, they like to be planted deeper. So if, if you set, if you, if you repot that now, mm. we bury it up to here. So that's, look, that's potting compost now. That's slightly rougher. So, so look, that's quite deep okay, that's in the a, yeah. pot now. So put it in and then put compost all around it. And tap it like that as you can. And that's it. Water it in a little bit and yeah. you can hold it like that for another four weeks, three mm. to four weeks. And of course we, we, we have a decent amount of, of compost, yes, yeah. so that's plenty yeah. to feed it. Going so through. that'll be planted in May then, yeah. into your tunnel or greenhouse. So Klaus, we're going to plant our, our tomato today. Uh, I see we have some pieces of string here and, and, and we're, going to, we're going to put the plant in. So maybe talk us through what we need to do. Yeah. Well, it, it's, it's the simplest way, first of all, of, of training your tomatoes. I've mm -hmm. seen, I've tried bamboo canes and a lot, but yeah. once the tomato reaches the top, they just collapse. And right, every right. week you have to tie it on with string. It's just a nuisance. Okay. With the string, the tomato will grow up and we'll just wind it around gently. We'll see next time okay. we come. Yeah. So for, when we plant them, what we do is uh, we'll, we'll improve the soil a little bit. Just imagine a tall plant like that with mm. hundreds of tomato fruits on it. It's, yeah. okay. It needs more food. <laughs> the roots okay. grow all the way out. So it would be a disaster now to put them all into the planting hole. So we'll okay. sprinkle, we'll sprinkle them around here. And then I work them in a little bit. Doesn't matter if there's still some left on the surface, really. Tomatoes are one of the few plants that you can plant deeper, that actually benefit from planting deeper. If, if you look, Andrew, you can see little hair sticking out. I can see them, yeah. All around, and, and they'll form roots when, when it's planted deeper. Mm -hmm. A tomato produces side shoots. Yes. And every week we have to remove them. Okay. And that's absolutely crucial because if not, it'll be a jungle in here. Remember, tomatoes come from Mexico and they're rambler. They're, they're like our bramble. Okay. We don't want that. We want them to behave themselves and go straight okay. up. Yeah. Now, the that's side shoot, a very simple rule, is always the one in between the stem and the leaf. It's easy to remove them when they're small, but when they're bigger. So try and get that habit bent left and right. Yeah. And just snaps over. Like this and that. Okay. If you just bend one way and if they're bigger, you'll rip. Okay. You, you've noticed that probably yeah. sometimes. So here again, left and right. Every single week you have to and do that. And you have that. to keep doing that because as the plant goes All the way up. it's going to keep yeah. happening. Yeah. Yeah. Into the planting hole, you line the string, put your plant on it, you bring soil around it, and then don't just leave it loose like that. Firm it, picture where the root ball is, and firm it in okay. like that. You don't want to compact that now, otherwise it can't, the soil can't breathe. Make sure that it's watered before mm. as well, yeah, that okay. it's moist. So Klaus, uh, we have a beautiful plant uh, uh, here, and um, maybe you can show us just, you were talking about twining the, the young plant onto the, onto the string. How, how do we do that? Oh, it's, it's just so simple. Look, you, you just keep 
winding the plant around yeah. without strangling it, you know. Great. The other thing we sh I, I tend to do is I remove the lower leaves as they turn yellow. So every week or two, I'll take one low leaf off it. So okay. next week it might be that one if it turns yellow. And that'll help with the ventilation around Ventilation the the plant. and you get less white fly, hopefully. But see, that, that's the side shoot here. And this side shoot will literally grow two meters. So the one that comes out in the middle here, yeah? Yeah. So you turn left and right and you get it off. And now here, th that's a flower truss and it doesn't come out between the two. Yes. So it's quite obvious that that's not a side shoot. Yeah, and we don't want to take him off. No, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not. So the, the, the ones here at the top, Klaus, do we let that grow on a little bit? Yeah, until you really see that it's a side shoot. Yeah. So don't touch the really t the Just top to part. Sure. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. So Klaus, we have our tomato plant and, and, and you've told us how to pinch out our, our, um, uh, our side shoots. So now white fly um, in the greenhouse can be a problem and, and other pests, what do you use? Yeah, white fly is a big problem. They're aphids actually, and they were introduced from, South, uh, from Mexico. Mm. I have the solution now, I think, and it's the garlic spray. Right, yeah. So it's concentrated garlic mixed with water. I buy it in a shop, but I'm sure you could make it yourself as well. Yeah. And every time I'm out here, I <laughs> sprinkle the leaves and it's systemic, so that means the, the garlic actually goes into the, into the plant. plant sap. So yeah. that's all I need. Yeah, I can smell you know, the garlic. A tiny, there. tiny bit because it, it goes into it. And I do that with all the tomatoes and lettuce, actually. It keeps the aphids away the, of the lettuces okay. as well. So when we're finished, you know, just loosen up the soil again and, and tidy it up. And the plants really thank you for it. That's my sun gold tomato. My yeah. Prime target, Your favorite. my favorite. Mm -hmm. So every week I was doing that to it, winding it around the stem gently. See, yeah. that would be a side shoot. Remove that. Remember, we've done that last time. It's yeah. Left and right, little snap. If they get bigger, you have to use a knife. You can see already the first tomato is forming. A nice mm -hmm. big truss here and there. So to drop, top dress the tomatoes, we'll use the poultry pellets. The poultry pellets that were composted with um, fresh seaweed. So it's wonderful. It has the trace elements and it has all the nutrients and nitrogen that tomatoes need. And if you do that in the late afternoon, once a week, late afternoon is important because the plants absorb the moisture right. at that stage. They're before they in the morning. Yeah. yeah. So that would be best. I think many people would overwater their tomatoes. Mm. Okay. They don't need to be soaked all yeah. the time. So maybe twice a week, a heavy watering Soak them twice a week. would be fine. And then in between, let them dry out just a tiny bit okay. before they grow. And when we're watering them, are we watering the foliage or do we want to water the base of the plant? Uh, no, you just want to water the ground. Keep, okay. So you, you just mist around the base of it. So Klaus, those tomatoes are look, looking really nice. They kind of look ready to go, are they? I'd give it another week. And then from then onwards, we'll have tomatoes right through the summer and autumn, possibly into November. Yeah, and there's nothing better than nothing. the taste of a homegrown no, tomato. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.